Another day, another flight. It's hot. We just got to India. I just booked an Uber. We're going to Soho House and it actually cost me 44 Hong Kong dollars. It's like five bucks. Bro, I don't know if you know, but India is big and I kind of thought, you know, as I always do, just book whenever I can, go with the flow, figure it out last minute. I think we've spent around five hours trying to find a hotel. Ended up booking multiple places with no success. Literally showing up at the place after booking, after paying, and then we're like, we don't have any room. We haven't left Solo House in like 48 hours, just working. First time ever in India, so now we're finally gonna see something of the city. I'm willing to feed whoever. Who? How can I help you? Oh. Nobody judge you but God. God. You can watch us beat the odds. Beat it. This is no cut, no facade. Young, rich, and black. Is no idea where we're going. We're just gonna tell them to go left, right, or straight. No idea where we're gonna end up, but yeah. <laughs> so this is the one thing that kind of is eye-opening because this is exactly the kind of things that put value of money in perspective. 30 cents, 30 hours of driving us around Mumbai. Another day, very similar to the previous one, just doing a lot of work. Chinese way of counting money. So basically what they do is like this. One, two, three, four. One, one, two. I can't even do it. We're going to Singapore. Let's go. All right, we had a great time in India. Done a lot of work. We spent most of the time inside working at Soho House, but uh, yeah, it was really cool. We've got to see quite some of India, and now we're gonna go to uh, Singapore.